Hey, Tony guys in here just popping in on my little run, a little Thanksgiving run. Y'all got to forgive me. But, uh, so my wife had me go to McDonald's, get the household some McDonald's for breakfast because, you know, they cooking for Thanksgiving dinner. And they trying to have dinner about 1 or 2 30. And Lord knows what the dinner finna taste like. This dinner might be good and terrible. But we're gonna see. Me and my family ain't necessarily known for cooking. Uh, my my mother-in-law could cook. But my wife got me out. So here I am, I go to McDonald's. I'm up there at McDonald's. Everybody know McDonald's. You know it's poison, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. So just get over it and live your life. All y'all vegans and ain't ate fast food in 10 years. Just stay out the comments, please. Stay out the comments. I can't believe you eat McDonald's. Let's do what I got to do. I do what I have to do. I'm not finna be at the house cooking all the time and buying these groceries, trying to put together a lunch. Listen, McDonald's right there. Got to keep the man in business for him being a pioneer and starting the business. I got to support him. So listen to me. So here I am. Y'all forgive me. I got to look at my directions every now and then. I go up there to McDonald's. It take them 20 minutes, 30 minutes to get my fast food order ready. Because my wife, I don't know if she got hot cakes. You know, she got hot cakes and sausage for my son. I'm like, man, you know, I thought it was for her, but now I realize it was for my doggone son. If I know it was for him, I'd have got it, but a sausage biscuit. I'm sitting up there waiting 20 minutes extra for hot cakes and sausage. Like, this boy don't pay no bills. I'm mad now that I'm thinking about it. I'm mad I'm thinking about it now. Y'all gotta forgive me. That just got me upset. I'm like, are you mean tell me I waited all that time for a 16 year old to get some food? Thought that was for my wife, but now I just realized because after that, I'm looking for a Starbucks. So I'm driving up, looking for the Starbucks. <sighs> Riding, can't find it. My phone not working. They got my phone tapped. Somebody got my phone tapped. So my, my phone only work on speakerphone. Then my battery be going dead fast and all that, unless iPhone just trying to get me to get a new phone. But I'm searching and the search ain't working. I got all my bars, search ain't working. Searching Starbucks, nothing coming up. Cut my phone off, cut my phone back on. And then my sister called me. Can you go to Bravo? Cause your wife needs some elbow macaroni and we need some nutmeg. I'm like, what is Bravo? I've, I've never really heard of Bravo and I look up and there go Bravo on some happened I hadn't rolled that far I'm at Bravo so I look at Bravo and there's 1 million cars in the parking lot so I'm like what is Bravo so I walk into Bravo for one it kind of feel like I'm in slightly not hood but right above it not hood not good right above the hood, look good. And so I go in there, they selling fried empanadas. I'm like what kind of grocery store this is? I got like, empanadas and taquitos and chacaritas, panaritas. I'm like, what is this? I said, oh, bravo, maybe that's a Spanish word. Cause I thought it just mean clout, but now not the clout and not the other clout that some people deal with, but I thought it meant clout like applause. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, bravo. So I'm looking around, then I realize there is 1 million people in here. And that's what inspired this message of stop procrastinating. It's, it's Thanksgiving. I don't celebrate the holiday because I don't know what the holiday is about. I just get a Lord thanks on his day and they shut stuff down on this day. So I observe that stuff is shut down on this day and that we eat good on this day. And I tell the Lord, thank you for another day. I don't get into the history of the holiday and all of that. And 
people sending me happy Thanksgiving. I don't even know what Thanksgiving is. Yes, I've been here 39 years, but I do not know what Thanksgiving is. Pilgrims and the Indians, I don't know all the whole story and the history, but I, I just know I live in America and it's always some funny business going on in America. So I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. I celebrate the day of the Lord where some good food being made. And so I look around, I'm like, it's too many people in here. This hour, this line, each line is an hour long. This ridiculous, this ridiculous. I said, I can't believe this now. All minorities now, now we not minor, but we just small in number in, a, in America. So I have to clarify that. It's all Hispanic and black in now. I say, no, where's the white people grocery store? So I said, I got, I'm gonna have to pay for somebody to grocery because I'm not finna stand in this line for an hour. And now I'm gonna tell you something. I'm not. I'm not an arrogant person. I'm not. I'm not a bougie person. But it's just kind of like I don't know how to explain it. It just kind of like I don't know how to explain it. It's like this. If you if you vegan, if you go vegan, you don't want a hot dog no more. If you have a steak from a real steakhouse, if you not vegan, and you have a steak from a real steakhouse. That Alphabet steak don't taste right no more. It's just what I'm trying to say. And so here I am. I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here. Y'all gotta forgive me trying to see my directions. Make sure, am I going the right way or the wrong way? Okay, yeah. Uh, first exit, okay. So I, I, I walk up there, I'm, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I see this little couple little couple it's a black couple it, it's one of the few black couples i see in there it, it, it's a mostly hispanic uh place so i say hey, can i pay for y'all food to get in line with y'all she say you're you sure can the guy ignored me the whole time his butt they didn't even say thank you i'm like i want to ask him do you speak english because i want to see if you don't say it is it if you is uh a black Dominican, at least say muchos gracias. I'm like, man, I'm paying for your food. But see, that's the lesson right there. Don't expect gratitude. Don't expect gratitude. Don't expect thank you. You got to just do stuff because you want to do it. Now, unfortunately, they had alcohol in the order, but it was too late. I, I can't. I ain't want to judge them. It was uh, so I had to pull out my ID, get a little bit of alcohol. It was just like them little tall coolers, whatever you call it, like the little seltzer with a little splash of alcohol in it no bud light like flavor bud light or something like that you sure can i hear i am with my elbow macaroni in one box it's probably 99 cent and then my nutmeg the order was 50 dollars i said lord that's that's my blessing for the day i'm gonna bless somebody i said lord forgive me they had alcohol now but you turned water into wine so lord forgive me and i get on out of there i leave out of bravo i'm going up to a starbucks but then i said well let me let me, instead of going to this Starbucks I'm going to that's close, let me go back to the one that was back the way towards our Airbnb. We're in Airbnb. Oh, and the lady recognized me in Bravo. God bless you. She was a sister. She was a sister. Black lady. So, like I say, it was blacks and Hispanics in there. Did I see a white person? Don't think so. And so, God bless your sister. Great to meet you. She said she see me on Facebook all the time. So, I don't know. And I'm on YouTube right now. So, I don't know. But God bless us, great to meet you. And so I leave out of there, I'm going to Starbucks. I turn around, I said, well, nah, I ain't gonna go to the Starbucks. I, that Starbucks, I'm gonna go back to the Starbucks, back toward the house. We're in an Airbnb, cause I, I, I rented an Airbnb, cause I ain't want everybody at my house. Just another little tactic. You gonna come mess something up. They ain't gonna mess it up, but I just don't like people at my house all the time. And then, so I go up to the other Starbucks. It's at Target. Target closed. Target's closed. So then I have to go to another Starbucks up the road. This for my wife. I throw me something on the order too, though. So I go on up there, another Starbucks. 
wife ordered a tomato mozzarella sandwich. I said, baby, why you got a dinner sandwich? Everybody got breakfast, you get a dinner sandwich. Said, oh, that's for me and my mama. So now I'm sitting up there and I'm getting upset because I'm like, man, here I am round the world. I done went to McDonald's, Bravo. The McDonald's cold and ice, nah. I done went to McDonald's, Bravo, and not two Starbucks. I'm riding around. I got my Hoochie Daddy shorts on because these are little Lululemon shorts that they make that I was telling y'all about the other day that they try to make them short. So I don't like, I like dry through a knees, but I got to get out three times. I don't like having all kind of thigh. And so I go in there, I get my, get my stuff and now I got four drinks. I can't sit it in the drink holder cause it's gonna tip cause the seats are slanted and sit it on the floor. I'm, I got, I can't sit it between my legs over here. Can't sit it over there. Cause so I got to take all four of them out, sit them in the cup. So see all this little stuff right here. This is what be getting us men agitated, be getting us agitated. And this is how we get our mood swings. And so then the Lord say, take a deep breath. You're doing this for your wife. You're doing this for your family. Just take your deep breath. God bless you. You're going to be all right. You know, yeah, I know you done had a lot of concussions, but we ain't claiming nothing. So you all right. You cool, calm, and collected. Just go on and do what you got to do. But what I want to tell y'all, see this this line right here to get in the gate is long because it's one of them places where everybody turn their townhouses into Airbnbs and do all the little theme rooms and stuff in it. What I want to tell y'all is 11 minutes I done wasted of your life to tell you to stop procrastinating. Stop procrastinating because the way how Bravo was full that don't make no sense. But you know what, though? I know what it was. So it don't relate to what's going on at Bravo today because everybody in there probably had to work all the way up until today. So, but it does go for life. How much do we procrastinate on our goals, on our dreams, on our work? I still got my designers and stuff procrastinating. I send a designer a design for one of my clients this design take five minutes. I could see the design. The design take five minutes. Her business ain't booming like that. She sent me the design back. Talking about design take six weeks. She done took six weeks for the design. Sent another designer some work. She ain't never finished. She ain't never finished the design. Never even start the design. So guess what? I have to go to the foreign designers. So for those y'all who ordered a book cover with me, it's on the way. You ain't got it yet, it's on the way. These designers, they be out to lunch. I don't be knowing what be going on. They be out to lunch. But listen, we gotta stop procrastinating because you got a book in you. You got a course in you. You got a business in you. You got a nonprofit organization in you. You got some weight loss that you are trying to get, get done. You got some weight gain you're trying to get done for those y'all who need to put on a few pounds. You got something that's waiting on you and you think you waiting on it, but it's waiting on you. Uh, what was she think she finna go? Ma'am, what you think we here for our health? And so, I just want you to realize and understand that we gotta stop procrastinating. And I realize when I don't procrastinate, I get so much done and I be like, man, this was not hard. Like I come in here, boom, right away, get it done. Bomb, man, you get this, 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 this. It's like, man, you, you could work so much, you get so much done when you're not procrastinating. I say, boy, we gotta do better. We have got to do better. And it just goes to show, like right now, I get it if you procrastinate and you're not procrastinating, but you waiting on that money to come in for your Black Friday. Then speaking of Black Friday, for me, for the academy, whatever course you don't have, it's gonna be your day to get it. And it's gonna be your day to get it. It starts at 9 p.m. Start at 9 p.m. In case you're not on my mailing list, cause some of y'all be acting like you're not on my mailing list. 
Good morning. 4288. Yes, ma'am. And your name, sir? Tony Gaskins. I'm going to make you a pass, Mr. Tony. All righty. Thank you. You're so welcome. It don't matter how fast I go or how efficient I am. Every time the light changes, the cops just come. All right. I feel like the ant trying to push that boulder up the hill. <laughs> yeah, keeping you busy. They do, sir. All righty. Have a great one. Enjoy your Thanksgiving, sir. Thank you. I just don't know how them Indians felt with them pilgrims. I just, I'd be feeling a certain little way. I'm like, eh, Thanksgiving, I just don't know what went all went down on that thing, man. So I just, I try not to, if I wasn't there, I try not to. Uh, boy, hey, she made me a pass, all right. <laughs> Ooh, got me a pass. I'm in and not. So listen to me. We get so much done when you just do the work. But what I was telling, oh, Black Friday, the, the coupon code is starting night, 9 p.m. It is blessed. No capitals. Blessed. Okay, look at the white family. Now see, now see this thing about the white folk. Look, look, look. Oh, they Jewish or Amish. They got the little things on the head. They all blue jean, white shirts. Listen, you got to learn from other cultures. You got to learn from other cultures. That's what I try to do sometimes, man. You got to learn from other cultures sometimes. Blue jeans, white shirts. Out there taking them a picture. Praise the Lord. My parking space is still here. My parking space is still here. Oh, Tony, you can't do this video because you said the address on there. Come on over here. <laughs> Come on though, we locked and loaded. Nah, you come over here with some funny business, but you can't even get in. Your name got to be on the list. <laughs> name got to be on the list. Name got to be on the list. And see, that's the thing, what I was trying to tell you. It's like, so at Bravo, man, I had to pay. I had to pay to skip the line. I'm like, I'm not gonna stand in this line for no hour. And that's what, that's what, um, what I tell y'all. Sometimes stretch your mind, stretch your mind. We raised in scarcity a lot of times. We raised in scarcity. Stretch your mind, fly first class one time. What it's gonna do is just unlock your mind, open your mind and it's gonna tell you, okay, how, what can I do to create extra income to fly first class again without it hurting me? Okay, what can I do to create something to where if I don't want to wait in this line, I could skip this line and I could be a blessing to somebody. It ain't even about flexing. It ain't even about nothing, but it's about valuing your time, having your time and being able to skip the line and be a blessing to somebody. And that's how I come from nothing. My mom and dad ain't got no college degree. I ain't got no college degree, but I just say I'm going to stretch and I'm going to press and I'm going to create because I want to be a blessing to somebody. I want to be able to help somebody. Even with that Tony Gaston Academy, when you go on there, a lot of people don't understand this. A lot of people don't understand it. Don't just watch me. Don't just watch me. I want you to understand that everything that I have, everything that I've accomplished, I have put it into a course on Tony Gaston's Academy. Every last thing. I put it into a course on Tony Gaston Academy and you could go on there, and every single thing that I do, it is in a course. I ain't just hogging the game. I done learned it, it done changed my life, it done changed my family life, and it been a blessing. It was, it's gonna allow me to create generational wealth. If you have any of my same gifts, any similar gifts to me, get on the academy tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern, that's 6 p.m. California time, and use the, the code BLESSED, and you're going to get your course 70% off. All the courses on there except for Life Coach Certification. reason why is that the value has been increased on the Life Coach Certification. We had to increase the value on there, meaning I'm going to add more of myself into the course, meaning doing Q&As multiple times a month. And... Um, so the price is drastically increase and we already have people signing up at new price so therefore the old prices are gone we we market we regulate it now so god bless you and we're gonna be in touch
Love you, mama. Love you.